Now, what the Chainlink 2.0 white paper describes is a way to scale from hundreds of decentralized Oracle networks to thousands. And then in addition to scaling to thousands of decentralized Oracle networks, how do we make each of those Oracle networks able to do more for the smart contracts that rely on them to make their critical computations, right? The key idea of, 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 of scaling is, is packaged in a number of different off-chain computation calculations, a number of different scalability fixes, some of which have already been employed, uh, deployed and implemented. The dynamic to increase the usefulness of Oracle networks really comes down to their ability to do more advanced computation. So it comes down to somebody building a hybrid smart contract in, the arc, in, in, in a very efficient, secure way in these two equal parts of an on-chain contract that defines the primary conditions, holds the value, provides transparency about key state changes, and then an off-chain portion that is equally easy to build and provide conditions for, right? So what this means is that the configurability of decentralized Oracle networks and Chainlink is going to massively improve to the point that you have a choice about how much computation you wanna put in a decentralized Oracle network versus how much you wanna put in a smart contract.